breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Where do we suffer? The physical body and psychological mind. Inflammation, part one. Natural or unnatural responses. Inflammation describes the body's natural response to injury or illness as the immune system goes to work in fighting pathogenic invaders or other processes activate to repair damaged tissue. Under normal conditions, these responses last a few to several days. However, in cases of chronic or persistent inflammation, there are usually one or more elements or conditions that are constantly triggering the body's pro-inflammatory responses, often as various toxic chemicals we expose ourselves to from our environs, as well as preservatives, additives, and artificial ingredients we potentially consume in processed foods and drinks. But they taste so good. Certainly, many foods we eat and beverages we drink to excess or exclusively as a regular part of our diet can and invariably do elicit the body's pro-inflammatory responses, including the usual suspects. Foods fried in unhealthy fats, sugar and other refined carbohydrates, artificial flavors and colors, synthetic food additives, alcohol, and more. In essence, virtually anything the inner child wants, desires, or craves, an effort to comfort or soothe his or her still unresolved pain and suffering, can become a contributor to eventual and even chronic conditions, illnesses, and diseases. On guard. Autoimmune disorders, including rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and many allergies, occur because the body's immune system mistakenly targets healthy cells as if they are harmful foreign pathogens. In essence, the body quite literally attacks itself, and while stress, a poor diet, a sedentary lifestyle, and obesity can individually or altogether influence the manifestation of autoimmune disorders and diseases, psychologically speaking, in what ways might we be attacking ourselves? <laughs> 